There's so many things wrong with me. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Book Talk with Lainey because I talk about books and I'm Lainey. Now, I'm standing. I have a little visitor. Hey. But you gotta leave for this, okay? Just go on to bed. Go. Hey. Bye, Suleto. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. The thing is, my dog, when he walks around, you can like hear his nails, and I hate that. So. But I love you. Anyway, I'm standing because I cleaned my room, and now I have some space to walk around. Um, I'm Italian, so I need my hands. I need space to communicate. Can you tell I haven't taken my meds yet? <laughs> anyway. I thought it was a fun idea to show some books that I own that I'm terrified of reading. And some of them are the most ridiculous reason of why I'm terrified or haven't gotten to it or whatever. There are some stupid reasons that are just me on the problem. Okay, let's go because if I don't get started, I start rambling. The first book, is, it's a trilogy, is the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. See, I have this fear of men. Trauma response. I have this fear of reading books by men who feature a female main character. And I know a lot of people have that fear. There are certain men who shouldn't be writing at all, and there are certain men who do a pretty good job. And I believe that he does. I think this is a great trilogy. I'm just terrified because he's like, he's like a big shot. He's like this generation's Stephen King of fantasy. You know what I mean? He's like a big shot. And I feel like I'm gonna love this series, but I'm terrified. Does that make sense? No. Continuing with Brandon Sanderson is Trees of Emerald Sea. Now, the reason I'm terrified of this is so far I haven't read, I've never read a Brandon Sanderson book. Why? issues but i'm i'm terrified i know that his i know that his universe is kind of built up on all the stories that he writes and i feel like i'm terrified of missing out on the inside easter eggs and jokes because i haven't read anything see doesn't make sense another ridiculous reason why I, i'm scared of reading this book scarred by emily mcintyre you know what i know the reason one of the main characters has the same name as one of my best friends see not so much as an ick, but my, you know, I have a very, very good, I have a very, very good visual imagination. I can imagine everything and anything. If you tell me they're going into a castle, I will imagine an entire setting of a castle with the littlest details, okay? So if there is a character having the same name as one of my best friends, and especially with these books, listen, I don't, listen, I love her, love my friend, you know. But her sex life is her sex life. And I don't, you know, it's kind of weird. <sighs> Told you, ridiculous. Okay, um, Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. I know this is smutty. I don't have a problem with that. And I don't have a problem in general. Let me state this real quick. I don't care if you fuck one person. I don't care if you fuck three people. I don't care if you don't fuck anyone. Do you do you, I do me, I don't care. I couldn't care less, you know? I'm a person. I'm very insecure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I just, I, I read a few um, reviews and like, you know, I, I mostly look up a book before I read it, if I'm in the mood for it. I think there is some threesome things, which I don't have a problem with it. Like some books, if, you know, I, I'm all for it. But the thing is, I usually catch feelings for one character and that goes into the th whole thing of a love triangle, which I absolutely despise. So that's kind of the reason why I'm scared of reading it. Does it make sense? No. Now an actual reason. Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. The premise of the book, I don't like it. It already sounds like something I don't enjoy. Why did I buy it? Because I read the book, The Night Circus, by the same author. Did I enjoy that book? Eh, not as much. I'm gonna be totally honest. Probably bought the book because I liked the, the cover. And I bought them at the same time. And I was really excited, I like, got high expectations for that book, like for the Night Circus. So I thought, duh. That's why I bought this book. I'm kind of scared because 
I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard like some of my friends really, really love it, and then I have some friends of mine that really, really hate it. And I'm, I'm, I, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to feel shit. Probably just choose another hobby for that. Another book that I'm terrified of is the Zodiac Academy. Not so much of the book, but of the community. I see ya from right over here. Because I read like three pages of this book, I just know it's terrible. I'm not saying a terrible book cannot be good and enjoyable. No, no, no. I just know I will be frustrated by stupidity. And I just know I'm not gonna like this. But I really wanna read it. But every time I open it, I get the ick. And I'm just terrified of telling my opinion because the moment I read something, I have to tell someone and you know, people are sensitive. Another book I'm terrified of is the Percy Jackson books. See, I feel like people who grew up with Harry Potter, people who grew up with Shadowhunters, and people who grew up with Percy Jackson, or like, people who grew up with all of them, but you know, they're like kids that like, tend to Harry Potter. I was one of those kids, I was like, heavily into Harry Potter growing up, and I never read the Percy Jackson books, I never even saw the movies, because I am half Italian, half Greek, grew up with both sides, you know, both cultures. I have an issue when it comes to Greek mythology, because a lot of people, it, it kind of triggers me when people mix up Greek people with Greek mythology, because if you think about it, most of Greek mythology hasn't even been founded or made up by Greek people. It's kind of like if you portray a Greek person as literally the whitest girl out there, of course I'm not gonna seem like a Greek per- I'm, I look very very Greek, okay? I am usually- I, when I was born I was way way darker. I'm really pale because I never go outside. I look like a typical Greek and Italian person, you know? A lot of people will confuse Greek mythology, what they're described with Greek people, which aren't the same, you know? So I have a little trouble reading Greek mythology because I just... Greek people, Greek mythology. Separate thing, you know? Another book I'm really, really scared of reading is The Fifth Season. Now, this is actually a valid reason. <laughs> All of them are valid reasons, but you know what I mean. I'm terrified of reading this book because I know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good, but I know it's gonna be like... It's gonna be difficult to read. And I'm... I'm you know, I'm a pretty smart gal, I'm pretty intelligent, and, you know, but I know it's gonna take a lot of energy to read it. Like, this book won the Hugo Award. That is, like, a big deal. So, you know it's gonna be good. I'm ter like, this is another fear of mine. I'm not really scared of big books. Like, a lot, a lot of people have a fear of big books. I have a fear of popular books because I feel like I build up this hype in my head and this huge expectation and nothing will literally get up there. You know what I mean? Because I made that whole shit up because it's perfect to me. You know what I mean? I'm just really scared that it's gonna be great, a great writing, but I feel it's gonna be a beautiful writing and a good plot and a good story, but I'm not gonna be as attached to it as to a book. You know, does that make sense? I feel like it's like, you know Babel? Babel was beautiful. It wasn't really my type of book, but I gave it four stars because of the beautiful writing, the plot, execution, everything. And I think this is gonna be that type of book. And it took me a while to read Babel because I wasn't that much in pretty much the same reason with the secret history. Fail. Pretty much the same reason goes to uh, Donna Tart, The Secret History. I started this book about three times already and I know it's gonna be good. I know I'm gonna love it. I just know it. But you know what triggers the fuck out of me? It, it looks like a simple book, okay? But the pages are like Bible paper. So it's gonna be really, really long and tedious. I know it's gonna be good. I'm just terrified because it's an illusion of the pages were just like a fat book. I'd be fine, but it's because of the illusion. I, I need serious help. Now, <laughs> The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. See, I think R.F. Kuang is a talented writer. She's absolutely amazing. She's just not for me. Her writing style is not, not that it's not appealing, it is. And I started this book and I got into it pretty easily. But it's not the type of fantasy I prefer, which is fine. And I feel like, I'm not gonna like this book as much as I should 
do. And I just, you know, I like to keep it on the back burner thinking, you know what, I can read it, but I don't already have read it. That makes zero sense. Can we just, give me a sec, look at that, look how cute that is. Look my little baby. Okay, that is so cute. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Um, another book is, and this is a little weird, it's Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. This is the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series. Now, I have a valid reason. Okay, so I have a photographic memory, but I have a audio, audio sensory, no, what is it called? God, no, there's no clue. There's so many things wrong with me. <laughs> I have to Google it. <laughs> I have an audio processing disorder. So in short version, shit goes in and shit goes out. And if I don't focus on you, I like to explain it in the way of like hearing someone speaking in a foreign language. You hear them, but you don't really understand it. Anyway, so I have read most of the books and then I listened to, I listened to Queen of Shadows as an audiobook and I was doing, I was in class, so I was really distracted. And I was ready to read the next book. Couldn't tell you what it was about. No clue. Absolutely no clue. I can tell you everything that happened in the previous books, no clue what happened. So I, I looked up shit and hoping that I can like find a spoiler video. Nothing. <sighs> I tried to reread it and I was like, bitch, no, I cannot do that because photographic memory and whatnot. So now I'm kind of stuck and now I'm kind of scared of reading the next book because I'm scared that I, I forgot shit from the previous book, but I don't want to reread it. You know, you get it. Now, <laughs> the Priory of the Orange Tree. Listen, I don't have a big book fear. I don't. I have a having to carry a heavy book fear with me because, dude, This is so heavy and technically this is on me. I could have just read it now, but it's so heavy, okay? I don't care. Like, imagine reading this book. This is so heavy. That's it, that's my only fear. I'm, I'm terrified of this shit falling on my face. I'm scared that shit is gonna break other shit in my back. I just don't want, it's so heavy. I told you there's stupid reasons. And another book, I think this is the last book is the Wheel of Time series. Probably for the same reasons, but also because they're very, very in important, I guess. Because they're like really big and like, you know, it's just, it's just kind of, I'm not in the mood for it. So I'm kind of scared of reading them all together. But I got a great deal for them. I got the first six books for free. <laughs> this video is a complete mess, but I hope you liked it anyway. Okay, like said, I've been all over the place. I haven't taken my meds yet. ADHD for life. Okay, okay. I have to stop now because it's gonna get cringe and the internet is forever. If you share some of my, if you share some of my fears, comment, let me know. Maybe we can suffer together. If you um, think you really have to read this, let me know as well. Do you have any book fears that? So if you like this video, give it a like, follow. If not, that's cool. We're chill. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Happy reading. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.